Welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle and I teach 4K in Wisconsin, also known as preschool. And I've had lots of people ask about how I read a story to the kids on Zoom or share um, felt stories so they can see it bigger on their screen. And I'm gonna give you a super quick tutorial on how to do that. So let's get started. When you have a lot of participants in your Zoom meeting, which I don't have here, I only have two. My daughter's helping me out with this, but you will have a lot of people on the screen with their little tiny squares or rectangles. And if you want to spotlight somebody, like if I want to spotlight myself or make myself big on everybody's screen, what you do is you go to the three dots that are in the corner and you tap it and it will say here, spotlight. Now you have to have more than three people in your meeting to actually spotlight it. So that's why it's not coming up here, but that is how you do it, super easy. And then when you want to remove the spotlight, you click on the, the three dots again and it says remove spotlight. Now, if I'm in a meeting with my students and I want to spotlight a student, maybe they're doing a share and they really want to show it off, I can also make them take up the whole screen. So I would go to their three dots that's in their window, click on it and spotlight, which again, I can't show you because I only have two people in this meeting and that will make the whole screen, whoever you spotlight. And then again, to remove it, you just click on the three dots and remove spotlight. There is this one here that says pin, and then I click on that, but that only makes me the biggest person. And it's only big on my screen, it's not big on everybody's screen. That's why I like to use uh, spotlight. Here, let me remove my pin, which is the top left. And then if you want to change your view, because it will change your view when you do that, you just go back up to view gallery, and then you go back to seeing all the people that are in your meeting. So again, if you want to make yourself take up the whole screen, you click on the three dots and then on spotlight. And if you want to remove it, you click on the three dots again and click on remove spotlight. If you want to make somebody else the biggest person on the whole screen, they will take up the entire screen. You click on the three dots, click on spotlight, and they will take up the whole screen. I know it would be so much better to show you if I had a whole bunch of people in my meeting, but I don't want to do that. Well, I can't do that when I have students because I can't show you who my students are. So um, I just had to show you with, with the two people. And also, if you do have a document camera, you can also do the same thing. When you have your document camera plugged in and you're putting something underneath it, so say if you have your, um, if you're reading a story under your document camera and you instead of have, wanting to hold it up, you can put it under your document camera and you can still spotlight yourself so that the what's under your document camera will be take up the entire screen of the student. Or if you are the kind of person that likes to hold the book, again, spotlight yourself so that the book can take up the entire screen for the kids. So you could read it holding it up like this and they will see this on either their entire iPad or Chromebook or whatever they're using at home. So that is what I do. I use Spotlight for when I read stories, when we do our question of the day, I put it under the document camera, that makes it bigger. When I use my felt board, and I actually used it just today when I did a hunting we will go, I, I hold it at an angle and I spotlight myself so the kids can see this better. And um, when kids are sharing, something and holding it up, I spotlight them so that it's easier for their friends to see what they're sharing. 
hoping that's helpful. I know I've had a lot of people ask about that because I do mention it in other videos. And if you still have any questions, you can comment down below and I can hopefully help you out. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to see something else, comment down below because I have been, I read them all and I really listen to what people are wanting. So don't forget to ask for something if you need it. That's it. Have a happy day.